What's going on you guys? We are back again with another luxury home tour, this time in the Sunset Plaza. And this house behind me features four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 3,751 square feet of interior space, and is currently on the market for $5,650,000. And before we tour this home, I want to give a big thank you to Joanna, the listing agent, and the Altman brothers for letting us tour their incredible listing. Let's do it. Starting on the exterior of this incredible home, we arrive through the motor gate. That brings you to the two-car wooden garage. And right above me, what is that? That's a basketball hoop. You can enjoy a nice game of hoops in your own driveway, which is really nice. And we are in Sunset Plaza, as I said, so obviously you're gonna see those views of the entire city of Los Angeles. But your front door is to my right, actually, so why don't we take a walk? So this is a pretty unique entrance, as you see when I close the door, turn to my right, your own private pool, and that's a lap pool. You can do a lot of laps in there, also a spa. Actually, we're gonna check out the backyard first, but also you can see views of Los Angeles and just everything that it brings on this amazing twilight evening. But let's walk down these steps. You got an olive tree to my right, two glass doors, one leading you into a bedroom, and this is your front entrance. And the house is built down, so this main top level features your bedrooms, while the bottom level is the entertainment space and the living areas. Let's check out this outdoor area. As I said, spot to my right, you have your pool with an automatic pool cover, and then you see sliding glass doors that lead you into your office space. We'll go there in a sec. Over on this side, next to this tree, are more stairs that lead you to your outdoors, the backyard, just turf area. Looks very serene and private. Can't wait till we get down there, but enough of this backyard. As I said, a lot of times already, it's super private, super nice. Let's just head inside. Didn't mention built-in TV on that wall, but let's keep going. Hey, Darren. Hey. Welcome to 1490 Sunset Plaza. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Excited to have you tour it and hear what you think. Let's check it out. But this is a nice entryway because you see this red brick wall it gives you East Coast vibes. It's not your typical LA contemporary house, but it adds a nice touch, makes it feel very homey as you first arrive inside this house. But the first bedroom that we saw a little bit from the pool, is this office space. And the first thing that I notice is the wallpaper. It's amazing with palm trees. And you can honestly just look outside, see some real palm trees if you want, but it's also on your wall. Pretty massive office space could also be used as a guest bedroom. There is a walk-in closet directly in front of me, large oversized windows to bring in natural sunlight. You get the views of the city and it's en suite with its own bathroom. A very bright white bathroom, and the first thing I notice are all of the brass accents in here, all the detailing, you got it in the, the handle, the toilet roll holder, and in the shower head that you will be seeing. To my left, some wood on the cabinetry and the drawers down there below. Lots of countertop space to the left side with quartz, integrated sink, and just more brass over there in your fixtures. But let's walk out of here, three more bedrooms to take a look at. I didn't mention as we walk by this entrance, really nice light fixture. That's a cool chandelier. You don't see something like that too often. Add some nice depth to the lighting in this grand entryway. Watch your step, take a step up. Now this bedroom does have access to the stairs and the outdoors on its own. So you don't have to go through the room into the hallway and then go outside. You can just go out from here. Plenty of space. I do like the modern closets. You see them on this side of the wall, built-in flat screen TV to my left. And then through this door, and I do love the doors in these house, the wood doors, very heavy, took a lot to install them, but check this out. Some really nice hexagon grade tiling below me. You have a different looking vanity that we'll be seeing. It's uh, of a darker black stone and linear white tile in your shower, black shower head, just a unique bathroom, definitely. But 10 out of 10 for your guest bedroom. And there's one more before the primary bedroom of the house. Also, as you look at the wood flooring, they're in a herringbone pattern in this main entryway, but in the bedrooms, they are not. They're just linear. All right, we're gonna turn to my right. This bed is a tad smaller than the last one we saw, but there is still a flat screen TV, also closet space on the wall next to the bathroom, oversized windows. You can look at all your other neighbors here in the hills. They're all celebrities. They all have money. This is an amazing location. We are literally two minutes away from Sunset Plaza, the Sunset Strip, where everything's happening. What could be better than this? And then the bathroom in here features a built-in tub. And once again, the brass accents, the brass fixtures, 
I really like that touch. You have quartz on your shower niche shelves there. A large vanity, plenty of countertop space. The wood detailing is amazing. And then it contrasts nicely with the gray tiled flooring as well. Toilet tucked back in the corner. This is a great, oh wow. And then two light fixtures on either side of this sink. Massive mirror in the center. Enough of that though. Let's check out the main bedroom that you guys wanna see. Well, through these double wood doors with a red brick bordering, it's a nice entrance to your bedroom. Well, welcome. You have a grand entrance before you walk into your bedroom with a nice chandelier above me. I don't know which way I wanna walk first. I guess we'll do the closet first this time where you have a wood pocket door that slides discreetly into the wall. And look at this. Honestly, when I first walked in here, I thought it was just gonna go on forever. You'd have a massive mirror in the center so you don't need a standing mirror to see yourself. All of the cabinetry and the shelves, the drawers in here, all made of the best wood material. It just, it's just nice, it's nice. I really like it. To my left, let's keep going. Here's the bedroom. Okay, now obviously, Views are what makes this bedroom perfect. And it's in the corner of the house. You have your own balcony with sliding doors on two sides. You can open it up. Oh, look at that, boom. That was pretty cool. You feel like the king of the world looking at the city of Los Angeles. Massive balcony. Also overlooks your backyard space and the outdoor with all that greenery. Plenty of seats in here to just hang out. Built-in TV into the stone wall, the fireplace beneath that. Nice light fixtures that can dim to set the mood, really cool. All right, let's check out the bathroom. So look at this, you have a chevron pattern in your marble tiled flooring, marble everywhere, dual vanities, and this wood is different than what we've been seeing. You have chrome handles there, and it's more of like a, more of a beige grayish toned wood. Wow, marble bordering the entire mirror that stretches this vanity length, and then Deep soaking freestanding tub back in the corner. So obviously as you get out of the tub or shower, you can just walk outside, enjoy the views, and enjoy the day right away. But here's the shower. I gotta step into the shower, of course. Yep, feels right. You have shower heads on both sides, which would be nice if they just, you know, you use them both at the same time. You stand in the center. It makes it really nice. Massive marble shower bench over there. And the gray tiling on the wall adds a nice contrast to all of the white marble in here. But that was everything up here. We saw four bedrooms already on the top level. The entertainment space down below is truly a treat to take a look at. So let's go downstairs. Heading downstairs, we've arrived. Ultra open floor plan with a couple of steps. Sunken living space down the couple of steps that I mentioned, but there is so much room to my left as you see Fleetwood sliding glass doors leading to that outdoor space. We'll go there last when it's a little bit darker, but let me talk about this living room. You have your gas wood burning fireplace with more red brick features up there on the wall with two light fi fixtures on each side. And then your dining room. Wow, there's a really nice modern Sputnik light fixture hanging right above your dining table. Perfect space. I love how the living room, dining area, and kitchen just flow seamless together. Behind me, wow, more, more red brick here in the corner. It's just the accents, the little details that add a lot to the houses, honestly. Sliding glass door, let's just, should, uh, let's not go out there right, right now. It's, it's a really nice space, I wanna show you that a little bit later. Here's a space I like, a nice detail. Built underneath your staircase, not a Harry Potter room. Well, it could be, I guess, but that's for your pet. Your, your furry baby. And uh, yeah, there's just a nice space. You can crawl up under there and just hang out if you want, or your dog can. You know, I don't judge, but let's keep going. Walk up this step, coat closet, and then washer and dryer. That was bright. Wow, you have marble here in your laundry room. Large sink. I, wow, I love this faucet. Check that out. That's really cool. The knobs on this look like what you would see steering a boat. That's unique. Just outside of that space, we're gonna keep moving. Pantry area, lots of space back here. I really love the windowed doors for your cabinetry, and I do like, if you zoom in on these handles too. It's really nice leather handles down there. Backsplash is perfect and modern. Same thing to my left, just more space. You have a built-in wine fridge on the bottom corner, and then we gotta talk about the island. Look at that, Calcutta marble on the island, waterfall edge, built-in outlet, 
and you have Miele induction on your stove top, directly in the center of your island. Two light fixtures right above your center island. They are copper bulbs hanging down there by a couple, couple chains, which is really nice. And then flat screen TV built on the wall in your kitchen. If you don't wanna go all the way into the living room, you have a nice one in the kitchen, watch your sports while you're cooking up a nice meal. Miele ovens to my right, and you have a warmer down there below. Okay, look at that. I bet you guys didn't think that was a fridge. It just blends into the wall incredibly. I absolutely love that. Matches all of the cabinetry around. And then you have these doors that open out and close so you can keep all of your high-end wine bottles and uh, alcohol secret and away from the kids. But you still have marble countertops, another sink, and there's your fridge. Your fridge and freezer are separate on opposite sides of this center space. Right behind me, oh, first you have built-in microwave into that center island. Then your main sink, larger sink, with a window above it, looks out to your pizza. That's one of the coolest pizza ovens I've ever seen, built, formed into the concrete out there. More marble surrounding it, obviously. Floating wood shelves, backsplash is the same throughout. A door that leads to the outside. I think it's time to go outside. Also, iPad into the wall that controls everything. But let's go out here. Look at how peaceful it is. You have an awning above us, heat warmers, heat lamps, and what did I say? Look at this thing. This is amazing. I absolutely love this pizza oven. If you guys like pizza as much as me or the rest of the world, I think this is what you'd be using pretty often. Then we got your Sedonia Lynx barbecue grill, lots of outdoor space to lounge, fire pit, fireplace out here to my right, outdoor dining area, just more outdoor space, and we are getting closer to those views. This is the perfect view of the palm trees, the city of Los Angeles. I can just see everything from here. I wanna see some drone shots right now real quick, go. All right, let's check out the rest of this outdoor area. I love the turf. I like the turf because obviously it's easy to maintain. You have a couple of massive trees and then two palm trees. This area is amazing. You can, honestly, you have to be here to feel what it's like. There are also, there's a lemon tree, a lime tree. I'm just noticing those for the first time, but this space is incredible to me. I could definitely imagine drinking a morning coffee every day, reading a book right here, just taking on your amazing house, contemporary home, Sunset Plaza, 5.6 million. This is amazing. Okay, there's one more room to check out. All right, we're gonna go back inside. One last thing to see. I almost don't wanna show you yet. We can close that barn door. Let's head in here first. Powder room, wallpaper is amazing. I love the floating vanity with that dark stone. Matches the walls very nicely. You have your light fixture directly above. A little window. You can actually, you can see the views from this window. And your landscaping, your yard of course. Just. Just a nice cozy powder room, but this is what I wanted you guys to see through this large wood barn door. This is your home movie theater. If you couldn't tell already, wallpaper, very unique, extends the entire length of this theater. Large TV up on the wall here. This is where all the brains are of this theater, right through there, discreetly hidden into the wall. The staging, amazing, obviously. Have to have your bar cart, a couple of wines, wine glasses. You do have one window so that if you want, you could have some natural sunlight come in, or if you don't want, close it all off, watch your movie or your sporting event in peace. And then you do have a door that leads to the outside. So let's say you're throwing a party here. You can have people coming in and out through the entertainment spaces, the outdoors, the movie area, just you can hang out all over this place. It's amazing. Around the corner on the side of the house is also a guest room where there's a full bathroom, flat screen TV on the wall. It'd be perfect for a gym or maybe an office space. If you guys made it to the end of the video, what'd you think about this house? Hit the like button down below. I appreciate it. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, I had to do the outro by this kitchen because it's probably my favorite part of the house. Besides that pizza oven, of course, that's super unique. You don't see that anywhere except here, Sunset Plaza. The heart of Los Angeles doesn't get much better than this. And if you guys wanna see more, check out my other videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much, as always, to the listing agent, the Allman Brothers and Joanna, for letting us tour their incredible listing, and I will see you guys on the next one.